What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So I wasn't able to live stream the Ubisoft um, Forward event. Um, wasn't home, but I will be. I think I will be live streaming the Capcom uh, event later on. I think that's like at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't really think this Ubisoft event was even worth live streaming anyway. I, most of these shows, I just do it just just to interact with the viewers. But Ubisoft has, I, I think, I've said for a while, I believe they've hit rock bottom. And they've been at rock bottom for a while. I feel like the industry, you know, and its developers goes through cycles. Sometimes developers are up one generation. That same developer might be down the next. I feel like Ubisoft been down since last gen. And they're, and, 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 and they're still down. Like, they're, like, just creatively bankrupt in my opinion i don't know how their sales are doing i think like financially they're fine well no because they they were trying to like sell i think they were trying to um you know s sell and uh to to to, uh, to somebody um because they were having some financial trouble and um just their you know their development pipeline is just a mess they have too many developers too many they got too much going on right so many different studios hundreds upon hundreds of people um at at each one of the, one of the studios and the the each studio is so disjointed they have like five different studios that that don't even necessarily uh that that aren't directly commu uh communicating with each other well all working on the same game it's that's why a lot of their games seem so you know like it, they all seem like they all had different cooks Anyway, that's just me ranting about my dislike for Ubisoft when they used to be one of my favorite publishers, like during the PS3 360 era, one of my favorite publishers. Now I now they discuss me. So I just had to had to put that out there. So um, let's get to this. Uh, this showcase. Uh, I think I can go through this pretty briefly. So they started out. I don't even know if this is in uh, in the order that they showed it. So they started out with, um, I think I saw Just Dance, but this is showing me um, Avatar, right? So Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. They uh, had shown this, I think, last year. Well, not shown actual gameplay. I think they just announced it last year. And I think the game looks okay. It looks visually, it, 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 looks, it looks great, the world and everything like that. But I'm worried about this game being Avatar Far Cry. Because I think that's kind of what it may play like when I heard them discussing the game and talking about the game. Like, oh, you do this. And when you when you do this, uh, it, it, it kind of sounded like their version of Towers. You know, Ubisoft and their infamous Towers. Um, that's kind of what it sounded like. So I feel like that, that Ubisoft formula just, is just injects itself into all their games. And all their, a, lot of, a lot of their games at the core just seem to have that same essence you know and a lot of them feel very samey so i'm worried about this game being avatar far cry and i've i've seen you know the avatar movies and i enjoy them but i've never i think the movies are cool but i've never felt like oh man i want to play an avatar game i think that would be cool and i want to be immersed in the avatar world i've never felt that way the movies are entertaining, but I always felt like there's also something very cheesy and corny about the Avatar movies. You know, this whole indigenous species and then humans invade and some of the humans uh, through this machine and technology become them. It's like, it's, it's something, about, it's cool, but it's cheesy, right? It's kind of corny. So I don't, I'm not sure if I, I'm very like wary when it comes to anything Ubisoft makes. I'm very skeptical very jaded when it comes to anything Ubisoft makes. And I'm, you know, some of the stuff that they show, I just don't believe it, even though, yes, they, they gained a reputation for, you know, pulling the bait and switch, pulling the okie doke, um, showing games, and they don't end up being like that. We all know the infamous watchdog situation. And they've gotten better about that. But there's some things that when I see a developer show, even when it's not Ubisoft, I'm like, eh, I don't really know if it, the game is going to play like that. I don't know if I trust that. So that's kind of, kind of, you know, that's everything I saw in Avatar, what they showed. I, I believe that, but 
like I said, I just don't know if I if I really am that thrilled to play an Avatar game, and when especially when I think it's going to be like Avatar Far Cry. But the visuals look good, the flying look looks good, the world design, all that good stuff. Uh, next was X Defiant. I couldn't give a damn about X Defiant. Um, I just don't care. Um, one thing I give Ubisoft credit for. This is the thing I give them credit for the most. They do not give up on their like their multiplayer games and their games as a service. They do not give up on them. Like, I don't know how they're able to just continue to support every game regardless of the player base, uh, regardless of like concurrent players and, and how healthy the game is. They will support that game for like seven years, 18 seasons, a century. They don't care. They're that's one thing you could depend on them for. If they make a game, that game is going to get supported. Even if the game is even if the game is like absolute trash at first, they're not going to cancel it, right? They're going to go back to the drawing board like with X Defiant, like it was getting crucified um at the beginning, I think it was getting crucified. They went back to the drawing board, made some improvements, put out another beta, I think, and now there's more X Defiant uh content coming another beta coming this this june and this is probably going to be one of those games even though i i don't like it that is going to end up living on for like seven years or something like that i mean for honor i don't know what the for honor uh player count is but i feel just off the top of my head i could be completely wrong i feel like for honor is dead i don't know nobody who plays it i know nobody who talks about for honor but they they're still supporting for honor and same thing with the rest, with all the rest of their games. They still, su- still support them. It, that's the thing I give them the most credit for. It's incredible. Meanwhile, all these other developers and publishers with their games as a service, they shut that joint down after five months. So it's, I give them credit for that. Um, so yeah, um, X, X Defiant. Uh, don't care. Um, then it was, uh, they showed a little bit more of Prince of Persia. Um, the Lost Crown. <coughs> so, as I talked about before, I think it was on Weapon Wheel, like, a lot of people thought, I think a, a, the hate for this game is that a lot of people thought that this Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown game, was the Prince of Persia uh, Sands of Time remake, but they just, like, halfway through production, they changed it up and made it into this uh, side-scrolling, like, 2.5, uh, you know, Metroidvania type game, right? But that's not the case. This is a completely different game from what that studio w- was making. Um the Sands of that Sands of Time remake is still coming. I thought they just like changed it and just decided to go with this game. But no, they they're still doing that. So I think if more people were aware of that, then they wouldn't be upset. Of course, there were some other things they were upset about like they didn't want it to be this side scrolling game. Um you know, they want it to be the, you know, the action adventure game that they're used to. But a lot of I think a lot of people don't know uh, Prince of Persia started out in, in this in this type of genre, this side scrolling. Um, so I think people were also upset about that. And, you know, the character, you know, I don't want to get into all that. But to me, the game looks good. I would say I would buy this probably buy this game uh, day one. It looks good enough for me for me to buy day one. It looks cool. The, you know, the powers, the combat, the abilities, you know, it's Metroidvania. I think the platform. The platforming and the level design looks really good. So I'm, I look forward to this game. Looks good to me. Uh, after that, what did we have? We had, oh, this, this, this anime called Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix. I don't care. I'm not even going to spend time talking about this. It's some show that's going to Netflix. Don't care. Then we got the Division Resurgence, which was a Division phone game. Don't care. Not going to spend time talking about this. Then we had Skull and Bones. They had like a band get up there and, and sing. They didn't even show any gameplay unless I missed it. It was literally just to, hey, remember Skull and Bones? It's still not canceled. It's, you know, we delayed it eight times, but it's still uh, coming out. And there's going to be a closed beta uh, from the 25th to the 28th of, of August. So that's all it really was. They didn't even show anything new. But like I said, they don't give up on their games. Doesn't matter if that game has to get delayed eight Nine times, if it has to, if the, if the, you know, if it gets destroyed by, um, by, by the, you know, the reaction of, uh, of gamers is, is, is terrible. They hate it. Ubisoft is, oh, they're canceling a game is just doesn't seem to be 
in their process, in their thought process. It's just like, oh, no, we just got to fix the game, bring it back out, you know, um, listen to the feedback. So that's what they're doing with Skull and Bones. And funny enough, I'm actually one of the people, I'm not going to play it, but I actually believe Skull and Bones is going to be, I would say, at least mildly, adequately successful. Because there's not a lot of games of this genre, right? This, this sh- ship warfare and, and um, you know, pirate uh, type gameplay. It, you only have Sea of Thieves. That's it. So it's kind of like a genre that you could kind of capitalize off. Because there's not really any, like I said, besides Sea of Thieves, it, it, there's not really any competition. It's not like it's a, it's a genre that's saturated. It's, so I think just off that alone, It'll be kind of um, mildly successful, but I don't care about it. And then what do we have? Uh, Roller Champions, Jet Set Radio. Um, this is, yeah, I don't care about this. This is just the Jet Set Radio event for Roller Champions, so I don't care about Roller Champions. And there was also a skate add-on in Riders Republic. Don't care about that. Uh, Brawlhalla, Combat Evolved. Um, they they got a Master Chief uh, in there. You know, don't. Don't care. Um, the Crew Motorfest. This is the new Crew game. Don't care. This is this is a brand new game. It's not expansion, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think this is an expansion. It looks to be a, a brand new game. And this is another. This is another example. I don't know nobody who plays the Crew. No, I've never heard nobody bring up the Crew in conversation. Nobody talk about it. But Ubisoft continues to make them. So I'm I'm really curious. Maybe people do it's one of those games nobody talks about, but it has a huge player base. That's that's entirely possible, but I don't know nobody who cares about these games. Um Assassin's Creed Nexus VR. So VR Assassin's Creed game. Um, but it's but it's for MetaQuest 2 and 3. It would be in PlayStation's best interest to make sure that this game eventually comes to PSVR 2. I mean, that would, you know, VR is, is, is something that's clearly very, uh, it's, I would say they, they're still trying to um, support it, and it's still important to them as of now. Uh, I don't think, like, they've given up on it or anything like that. I, you know, it, it is tracking and, and outpacing the original uh, PS, PSVR, um, so I, I do think they still need a it's important for them to still try to get these these games, these VR games. So hopefully they do. I don't know how that's gonna. Um, I don't know how that's gonna play. I feel like I that might be very dizzying playing as an assassin. If you're doing all the parkour stuff, I feel like that might actually give me. And I haven't like gotten motion sickness from anything, anything in VR uh, lately. Uh, I feel like that might do it for me though. Um, what else do we have? I think they mentioned Assassin's Creed Codename Jade. For iOS and Android devices, yeah, don't care. Assassin's Creed Mirage. I'm very excited for Assassin's Creed Mirage because I like classic Assassin's Creed. I don't like none of this nonsense, uh, this RPG bullshit that they, you know, that they have in the new new Assassin's Creed games, where uh, you know you can't just assassinate people. Uh, you got to be level 50 to assassinate this person. Like that's not a stealth game. That's that's stupid. You know, like, oh, you, you're not high leveled enough and all this bloated nonsense with all these superpowers and it's dumb concept concepts. It, it's it's idiotic. It's dumb. It's trash. I hate it. I like classic Assassin's Creed. But in this trailer, they show that this man does have some superpowers. It's more grounded than the, uh, you know, the RPG um, Assassin's Creed, but he still has some superhuman abilities like this, this chain like this chain assassin uh, assassination power that they showed off where he like uh he uh he targets you know he selects three targets and he just like teleports from one to another just assassinating them eh, that's not very grounded i didn't like that um so hopefully it doesn't get any crazier uh than those type of powers i know he's going to have some other abilities you could probably unlock in a skill tree but hopefully they it doesn't get any more outrageous um, than that, it kind of reminded me of the uh, of the uh, ability in in Assassin's Creed Conviction. I'm not, I can't remember if it was in Blacklist where uh, Sam he could like target 
three enemies and he, you know and he just shoots them all in quick quick succession kind of or it might have been more than three enemies but it kind of reminded me of that uh what else was there oh and i think the last thing was star wars outlaws so star wars outlaws um we saw like a cinematic for it what was it yesterday at the, at the xbox showcase i think and now they showed off official gameplay about like 10 minutes of it. So it still looks very rough around the end, ar- around the edges. Um, it looks early, looks like a very early build and it looks pretty damn rough, which is OK because it is early. It's coming out sometime next year. I would I would bet the end of next year. So this is this is, you know, it, this is definitely a very uh, old, old build. Um, and it's going to be obviously more optimized later on. but. My the game looks good and it looks fun, um, but this is one of the things. There's certain things in this gameplay that they showed off that I don't trust, and I'm not sure I believe it's gonna work that way. As seamless as they showed it, like they showed uh, the, um, you know, they they showed you in a ship leaving the planet's uh, atmosphere and going into like deep space seamlessly. I believe I'm like. And it's not that th- that type of stuff can't be done in this current gen. I'm just very skeptical that, you know, game game development is, is unpredictable. And, you know, early on in development, they do things and then they run into problems, uh, unforeseen circumstances, and, and be like, oh, this can't work this way for some odd reason. So... I just don't believe everything I uh, I saw in, in, in that trailer. I don't believe every everything I saw. Everything was just very dynamic. Everything was just very seamless. Um, yeah, I just I'm, I I just be I'm just uh, I'm I'm being on the safe side and, and being skeptical that some of this stuff isn't going to turn out the way they exactly showed it. Still looks like a like a cool game. Um, I'm a Star Wars fan, so uh, you know, not mad at more Star Wars content content coming. Looks cool. Look forward to seeing more of it when it's when it's uh when it's further in development. And I think that's it. I think that's that's uh, I think that's everything. <sighs> Let me just check another list to make sure uh, I didn't miss anything. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, Just Dance 2024. They always show some du- Just Dance stuff. Uh, yep. Mention that. Yep. Mention. Yep. Yep. Uh, Rockstar, Rocksmith, plus for free on PC. New mobile app. Uh, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope DLC with Rayman coming late 2023. Yeah, that's one of my favorite games. Uh, from um, from last year. So I I think I I ordered the like the the edition that comes with all the DLC. I love that game. So I'll be playing the DLC and uh yeah I think that's that's everything from this from this showcase. Like I said, it, it wasn't very much that I really cared about. Um let me see. Assassin's Creed Mirage and um Okay, Assassin's Creed Mirage, uh Prince of Persia and Star Wars. So that's three games and I'm iffy on on Avatar, but that's surprisingly more games I'm interested from a Ubisoft conference than usual. Usually it'd be like, sometimes it'd be no games that Ubisoft show that, I, that I'm interested in or that I think look good. So the fact that I'm interested in three is actually a, an upgrade. So maybe Ubisoft is headed in the right direction. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's my, um, that's my breakdown. That's my thoughts. Let me know what y'all think and uh, hit the like button, hit the, you know, hit the notification bell. Uh, I'm going to be live streaming the Capcom event later on. I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen. Um, I don't believe they're going to show like a di- Dino Crisis is coming back, but we're, we're all like, I'm like, just like everybody else, somewhere deep in my soul praying for it, but I'm not believing it. Right. I'm done with hoping for stuff and, you know, expectations and all that. It'll be great. Would love that for they, cause they gotta know people want Dino Cry. They know. Or Onimusha. They know. They know. Come on, Ubisoft. Come through, bro. Come through, dog. But yeah, um, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. I'll catch y'all on the on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.